Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Shazam, issue number two. Shazam! <laughs> All that crazy stuff starts happening. All right, so let's go and check this stuff out right here. We got Shazam and the Seven Magic Lands, chapter two, writer Jeff Johns, artist Marco Santushi, uh, colorist Mike Atia, letterer Bob Lay, cover Dale Eaglesham and Alex Sinclair, and the variant cover by Chris Samney and Matt Wilson. Also probably hurt, wouldn't hurt to say that... Uh, uh, what do you call it? CC Beck and, and Bill. Oh, for crying out loud. I got in my head. Oh, God, I can't get him out of my head. Bill Parker, right? Bill Parker, yeah. Bill Parker and CC Beck, uh, the original creators of Shazam. You know, I, I shouldn't have to try to remember who these guys are because it should be right freaking here. It should be right here in the book. Anyway, so this was, um, I know a lot of people liked the first issue and I thought it was okay plus <laughs> i didn't think it was quite double plus good if we're gonna get into political speak but this issue this issue i liked a lot more we got to see some of the uh the bad guys hiding up in here so we see uh mr mind and he's hiding of course inside of um off oh, crying out loud uh dr sylvania and they have to go to a doctor another doctor because they need <laughs> They need a magical ingredient. I'm not going to tell you what the magical ingredient is. Um, but it, it brings a lot of darkness to this very fun comic book. Um, these guys decide, the, the the six kids decide to go, oh, oh, Billy Batson's father is like waiting to talk to him in, in some form. Uh, but Billy and the other kids, the Marvel family, they're off uh, freaking in the subways and whatnot. And they're like, okay, there are six different ways to go. Besides back homes, so we got to go and figure out what's going on. We, we got to find out all these different so They decided to go to Funland. Of, of course, of course, because they're kids. They're kids, man. So they go to Funland, and I still don't have the names of all these characters memorized. I mean, I know the, um, uh, what do you call, I know Mary Marvel and, and freaking, why can't I, besides Billy Batson, Freddy. I know Freddy. You know what I'm saying? But the other three, I'm not, eh, not quite as familiar with for some reason. These, um, these cats go off into this place. And at first I'm thinking this is going to be a really bad thing. And then the worst fear of all men. And, and mind you, I'm not a huge, uh, I'm not a, uh, an, an, an opponent of clowns. I have no problems with clowns. I've even seen freaky clowns. I'm usually okay with clowns. But I do have a problem. That's some little wee folk leprechaun looking clowns. Yo, this little thing looked like a little freaking Chucky doll with the makeup on. Came running down the stairs, charging right at them, bowling right through them. And they're just like, oh, hi. Hey, can you tell us where to get to Magic Land? I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm like, bitch, please get the hell out of my way. There's a damn clown. I'm sitting there pulling out my AK. Pop, 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 pop. I'm shooting this sucker down. Like this thing, it just running right by. And it didn't even look good. It looked like he was running from something. I don't even care. I don't care. You're little. You got clown makeup on, you're running right at me. He, he, he's running right at me. Boom! <laughs> South Park, season one. Check it out. Dude, not cool. Not cool. I, I almost flipped out. I'm sitting there looking at this like, oh, hell no. Hell no. It's dark. It's dark out. And and I'm just, mm -mm. Then something even worse happens. They go into this place that they're comparing to Disneyland. Now, I myself personally have been to California twice, but I've never actually been to Disneyland. All right? No. No, instead, uh, I've been to Disney World. Disney World, two, twice, two times. It's huge. It's awesome. Is Disneyland bigger than freaking Disney World? Because I don't think so. I, I'm just going by the name. You know, there's a land and then there's the world. Um, but they're comparing it to that and, and they're trying to decide, like, how long should we have to... Like, there's a freaking fun police. Okay, we can only stay here for two hours. No, 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 we shouldn't stay here at all. Fine, so they, they finagle it to one hour. Hell no. Like, you go where you want to go, I'm going to go where I want to go. I can I can call out a, a silly, funny-looking name, and all of a sudden, <coughs> lightning hits me, and I turn into one of the baddest SOBs up on the planet. I can go head-to-head -head with Superman. You know what I'm saying? Why do I need a freaking bedtime? Hells to the no. Unless there's a little freaking tiny clown running at me with the makeup on. No, not cool. Not cool. But so, so they're doing this and all of a sudden this character, and I'm not, I'm not that familiar. Okay. I'm not that familiar. I, I pulled this out just to let you all know. Like I read a bunch of the old Shazam books and I got a couple of the new ones up in here. You know what I'm saying? I got you know, like a whole bunch of the, the stories up in here. You know what I'm saying? I read this. I read, I read this actually in, in a day because hell yeah. But I'm not that familiar with um, the, the, the new stuff, you know, that Jeff Johns had done with, with the character. 
So this was a little bit weird to me. So this is new, to, to the best of my understanding, a brand new character up in here, right? Kid King. And that's just, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's, it's perfect. If you think about it, look, I don't know who else has said this, but Flash has the best villains, the best rogues gallery. Spider-Man has a second one and and then you'd probably say that that Batman comes in, boom, you know, right around the same Spider-Man. <clears throat> maybe Batman's better than Spider-Man. Probably, maybe. I don't know. It's not, not the point. Not the point. Shazam has probably got the craziest freaking rogues gang. All right? Just all of his characters are completely out there. Nobody's like the other. They're all <laughs> nuts. They're crazy and amazing all at the same time. Um, so this character... I think fits in perfectly. If this is indeed a first appearance, well then, take note. <laughs> if not, I'm waiting to see what this cat can do, because I don't remember any stories with this kid. Um, this, this was a fun comic book. And it's funny because, I don't know, from like the first issue, I thought this was all just going to be silly. It's not the case. It, this, this comic book doesn't really seem silly. You know what I'm saying? It, and it's easy for a Shazam comic to go silly. Again, with some of his rogues, easy for this comic book to go silly. But so far, Jeff Johns isn't doing that. What this actually feels like more than anything else is like an Adventures of Super Sons so far. Now, there was no Shazam, no Marvel family saying Shazam and turning into their giant, powerful counterpoints, which is risque, to say the least. But it worked. That's the thing that baffles me about this. Usually I could say why the comic book worked here, bang, 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 whatever. For me, though, this worked. Because it's all just a bunch of kids exploring. This book, minus the traps and, and the explosions and, and the R stuff, reminded me a little bit of the Goonies. And that's not a bad thing. In fact, this might even turn out to be a little bit like Stand By Me. Because there is some darkness to this comic book. So, yeah, I'm... Mm. Well, I didn't know about that first issue, I'm glad I stuck around for the second. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait like three, four more issues, maybe until the end of this arc and the first issue of the next arc to see if I'm actually going to like truly stay on to the comic book. But for right now, yeah, issue three is going in my hands. That's for damn sure. So good job. Good job. And, and it's good that Jeff Johns has something good like this coming out because most of us can't tell if freaking Doomsday Clock is any good or not because we've forgotten everything that happens in the previous issue because we're tired of waiting two months for it. You know what I'm saying? How many comic books do you read in two months? And you're supposed to remember one? <laughs> so, yeah, this is this is actually really good, and I'm 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 glad. I, I want to say proud, but that would just be silly. I'm really glad that Jeff Johns is doing something this awesome because yeah, we need. I don't know about him. We need it. Anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.